This is Twit. So what I hate as a consumer, but I kind of sort of maybe understand as a developer is that a lot of times certain apps will tend to lock into portrait mode. So generally the ideal is that if you have an app on your Android phone and you turn your phone to landscape, the app should also turn to landscape. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that just that's like seems like world. in a perfect world, that's no kind of how it's supposed to work. Way. And yeah. and ideally if if I had to read whatever like the official spiritual documentation for Android development was, that would be like commandment number two or something. But it doesn't usually happen like that. And I, I say that as like we know it's ideal, but as I've said many times People tend to ROI things like, oh, responsive layout and actually handling rotation. It, it sucks, but it's a thing. And so a lot of apps um, tend to lock into portrait, which means that if for some reason you're holding your phone the wrong way, you, you might be trying to read sideways. But, but I was very excited to see that, Michelle, you figured out a way to maybe get past that and, and make, make things like work the way they're supposed to. Yeah, Despite so this is developers? actually an official like Google recommended implementation that's available <laughs> since Android 12. So, um, you know, Google recognizes that there are a lot of apps out there that still lock themselves to portrait mode. And, you know, it's their prerogative whether or not they want to actually support, you know, large screen devices like tablets and foldables. Yeah. Google's still not in the business of forcing developers to do that, you know, because that would cause a lot of friction and a lot of work for developers to do. But they also recognize that you know, tablets and foldables, they're becoming more and more popular. So this, this kind of like conflict between what developers want and the experience that users are getting right now. So instead of, you know, hoping, you know, saying Google is telling developers, please, 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 please do this. They've been saying that for years, you know, please support large screen devices. Mm -hmm. So kind of nice middle ground to come up with is a way to override the app's request for the orientation that they're specifying. So for example, if an app says, I want to be in portrait mode all the time, the OEM can say, no, you're gonna be in landscape mode. But as a compromise, um, that app won't just be stretched out to fill the entire screen in landscape mode, because that would make it really ugly. A lot of yeah, apps would just bad. look yeah. really bad. Yeah. Yeah. So instead what they're doing is they're putting it in a letterbox. Yeah. So the app would still be in its native aspect ratio, like a portrait you know, candy bar orientation most of the time but there would be some background, uh, you know, filling up the left or right side. And that's customizable that's by the that. OEM. You know, you could put like the wallpaper there, you could blur the wallpaper, you can maybe have the, the app move to the left side or the right side, depending on your device. You know, that's something that Google has added there and they're hoping develop OEMs take advantage of it, but so far it doesn't seem like any really have. Although there are some OEMs like Samsung and Lenovo that offer their own takes on this kind of feature you know, through their uh, various labs features on Samsung devices, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this official Google implementation, you know, seems about something they might be using on their devices, you know, who knows? And, uh, you know, it's it's interesting to see that Google has this feature, but uh, there are some devices, like there were, I, I heard from some reviewers complaining about the OnePlus pad and the Oppo Find N2, you know, like whenever they unfold their Find N2, because it's a wide body foldable, Whenever they unfold it, it's in landscape mode. So a lot of apps that are forced to portrait mode, they have to flip it again, just to use apps like Venmo or Authy. Mm -hmm. So by using this um, built-in command to override the app's orientation preference, they could restore that and have the app be displayed in a letterbox. I like that. And um, so yeah, that is a big problem. And I and on the fold, it does work that way. I do get letterboxing and you know, kind of cool extra one UI features where, as you said, I can kind of shift. Like if I'm in bed and I've got my fold open really wide and I'm just feeling lazy, I can actually kind of shift the UI over to be wherever my thumb is. Um, and it would be nice for that to be um, OS. And to be perfectly honest, as a developer, if the OS does that for me for free, mm -hmm. it's, it's just more right. like, it's just more like up until now, because we haven't had like kind of um, compensation UI like that for, for our bad decisions. It, you know, you kind of just have to pick between we don't have time or design resources to, to implement this. And like, hopefully, you know, based on usage numbers, oh, well, you know, 80% of our users only use our phone. Like in this situation, usually you kind of think it's okay. But I really don't think that, I, I can't imagine a lot of developers would have a problem with the OS compensating and doing things like letterboxing and, and adding that on. It just seems like, Reinforcing our laziness, <laughs> to, or, or just, just we're just, giving you the night off. Yeah, it is giving us the night off. Yeah, okay, right. so I don't want to say it for today, but I, I, That's I, I how love, you frame it. Yeah, well, we should do it anyway. But you know, thank you, Google, <laughs> I, for making up for us. And I do want to, I, I do want to be the voice of turning off auto rotate in the control panel, and at least on the Pixel side of things, mm. right? Where it's like I want to stay 
you know, yeah. uh, por portrait mode. And so just don't do any rotation. So you know? funny. Like my behavior, my, yeah, like, my default behavior there has yeah. shifted over the years. Has it really? There was <laughs> yeah. a time where I hated, I, I, I would not lock it into place because yep. I wanted the widescreen. But yeah. at a certain point I was like, yeah, but the widescreen home screen is really ugly and weird. And yeah. you know, well, just, what I just can't over, stand, what I can't stand is the, is the, you know, in bed or on the couch or whatever. And then the, dance with whatever and, like, and no, you so rotate it and yeah. then like two seconds later right. it catches up with you and, and, the, and then you try to go back and yeah. then it flips back and that's yeah. just, so just turn it off just turn it off don't rotate keep, yeah. it, keep it you know yeah. like yeah. I do think it's neat to add letterboxing and like because to, to, you don't want that stretch out experience but then like you're wasting screen space you know what I mean so like, yeah. but, I mean but I, I, these are like these deep 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 UI adjustments that they need to work but whenever you talk about o OEM specific tweaks that goes back to what you're talking about with the background stuff where it, it it's another another layer or another you know peel off of a reality that can happen that needs to be accounted for so yeah, yeah but yeah. Um, yeah just turn auto rotate off it's midweek, and you really want to know even more about the world of technology. So you should check out Tech News Weekly, the show where we talk to and about the people making and breaking the tech news. It's the biggest news. We talk with the uh, people writing the stories that you're probably reading. We also talk between ourselves about the stories that are getting us even more excited about tech news this week. So if you're excited, well, then join us. Head to twit.tv slash TNW to subscribe.